So we know scan strategy. And as you can see in this video, this is exactly how it's done even for a crown. As you'll note while I'm scanning this crown live, I don't focus on the crown prep. A common mistake I see is people focus on the crown prep too much. If you noticed here, I do my occlusal scan, my buckle, and then my lingual. And I'll play this one more time for you. I do my occlusal scan, and I go across, across the occlusal. I rotate, buckle, and then lingual. And a common thing with uh, scanning these sort of cases is to make sure you are scanning the interproximal well. And this can be difficult, especially if you have very tilted molars, uh, large embrasure spaces. This can be very tricky and you may miss this area. So how do you combat all of that? You know, how do you go from doing a single crown to multiple crowns like this? This is a, a case I scanned with the medit. And here in this case, you can see basically every type of tooth preparation. You've got a full coverage crown for that first premolar. And this was an old root canal tooth, an inlay, an onlay, and something, you know, these days you would call a crown lay. And even for a case like this, I cannot stress this enough, my friends, it is the same scan strategy. You would start on the occlusal, you would move all the way to the mesial, you would rotate around and around. It doesn't matter the difficulty of the case. It doesn't matter how many preps are there. You have to follow the same strategy. Then becomes the next thing, uh, which is full mouth rehab. If you're doing a full mouth rehab, how do you take a scan for that? And again, this is a, a uh, real-time scan video of me doing a full mouth rehab. And as you will notice, I'm doing the same scan strategy. You start on the occlusal, you go all the way around, then you scan the buckle, you rotate again, and then you scan the lingual. I am not distracted by the fact that there's a whole bunch of preparations there. And that is how you should deal with your scanning. You always follow a strategy. The other beautiful thing, you will see every single thing, every single tooth preparation has retraction cord. The beautiful thing about scanning is taking an impression of this is exceptionally difficult. Exceptionally difficult. You have to pull out each retraction cord and put light body into each preparation. And then you need to hope and pray that there is no air bubbles. Because if there is, you are in a world of hurt. Whereas with scanning, and let me play this video again, if there's any area where there's some bleeding that's gone over the preparation or not quite retracted perfectly, you can easily go back, clear that area up and rescan. And one thing I want to bring up, which I get asked often, is do you keep the retraction cord in there? And yes, I always do. You should never be pulling out retraction cord to take your scans, ever. Because we're all dentists. We all know what happens when you pull out retraction cord, take a moment to think what happens. Instantly, you will get bleeding. I don't care how healthy the gum is, you will get some bleeding. And bleeding is like the enemy of scanning. So always keep the retraction cord in there. And you need to pack your retraction cord properly so it is not flopping around. It is not over the preparations. You will notice where I'm scanning there, some of the retraction cord on the lingual aspect is not packed all the way. And that's fine as long as it's not in the way of the preparations.